Hmm. What's on the mind of McCants? Right now, what's on my mind is effort. 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 That is the only thing anyone can control. The effort you put in getting good grades, the effort you put in relationships around you, the effort you put in getting your body physically and mentally prepared for the game, for a performance. Profile performance, personal training. This is what I bring to my program. The understanding of effort. More or less to my high school guys. When you're playing, especially in a game where this is on the schedule and everybody's going to be there, your effort speaks volumes and only you can control it. If your team is down 40, 50 points, you control your effort. How bad do you want it? You got to understand right now, when you get to the high school level, hopefully you're looking for a scholarship at any division. Free money is free money. What I promote is free money here. Get a scholarship at any level. Get a free education because the percentage of going pro is 0.5%. And then if you do make it, the average year, especially for NFL, is maybe two and a half years, if that. I don't know what basketball or baseball is. And I know baseball is even harder to get into than football. At least football, you got 53 players, so possibly you can slide in. Basketball, shoot, you got 10, 15 players a team. That's even harder. So, that being said, when you're on the field, on the court, people are watching. You never know who is watching. So, when you're lolling, lollygagging, tiptoeing through the tulips, somebody is putting that on film. Somebody was watching as a freshman, 8th graders, 6th, 7th graders. If your goal is to play college sports, start yesterday. Getting your mind mentally prepared to not stop working until your goal is achieved. That being said, what is not stop working? Well, just every day, every day? Yes, every day. Physically and mentally get your body and mind prepared by having the good grades so you can be in the game. That's one. For those who have good grades, physically putting yourself through certain levels to get better. And not just be good at your level in your area. You got Texas. You got California. You got to remember, when you go to college, you're no longer just going to be in your area. You got people recruiting out of middle school these days because NCAA hasn't made a rule for that yet. So if you have any athletic ability or any aspiration of going to the next level, you have to put forth the effort all the time. Put aside the attitude. Put aside the ego and ball. Play defense. Play offense. Whatever the situation is, every time, don't get caught on film walking. Don't get caught on film uh, like I say, lollygagging. That's, you know, whatever that really means. Don't do it. When it's time to block, if, if you know when it comes to football, if you don't have the ball, you're blocking. At a runner, we used to try to make pancakes. Everybody knows football, that knows what that is. And I was a big receiver. So my goal was to try to punish any small DB or any DB for that matter that came across my path. Just so it looked funny on film with me flipping somebody. Find something in the game that you love. And if you don't like blocking, be prepared not to get a scholarship for that. Be prepared for that to come up in the evaluation. Oh, well, he can catch the ball, but he doesn't block. So now it's 11 on 9 because the quarterback's not blocking. effort. You control your effort 100% in everything you do. In your relationship with your coaches and your teammates. With your parents. With your friends. What effort are you putting into it to make that bond tighter? 
to make that bond stick, to build a bridge with somebody. I was just cool for the most part with most people. Most people really didn't know me because I was kind of introvert. Only time I really performed and put on the show when I was on some form of stage, be it the field or for those who know me, I sing also. But for the most part, I'll be by myself. That's just where I'm comfortable. You don't have to be, hey, hey, guy, hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy, all right, all right, let's go, hey, let's, let's go hang out. If that's not you, that's not you. But when it came down to playing and performing, they knew I had their back. Champ Bailey gave me one of the greatest, I can say Champ Bailey and Lavernius. Lavernius gave me one of the best, uh, I don't know what to call it, but <laughs> he said, D-Mac, if, if I ain't played with you, I think you suck. Now, take it how you like, but I took it as a compliment. Because he knew, no matter what, I was going to be there. I was going to catch that ball. I was going to block for him. Champ Bailey was like, hey, D-Mac, you the only receiver I know who would drop every ball and warm up and catch everything in the game. To me, I took that as a compliment. Because if it wasn't fully focused, I was practicing something. Some people got it, some people didn't. I was a game time player. Don't use it as an excuse. I'm just telling you what my life and what I went through. Because I didn't do it on purpose. I never tried to drop the ball. But in practice and warm ups, I was trying to work on certain things so I could use them in the game. And most of the time, they worked in the game. Because I knew in the game, all I had to do was catch the ball. Going against Champ, going against uh, with Smooth, I could develop certain things. They were the top corners in the business at the time. And if you can go against the top and do it, and then you go against people who don't know you, aren't familiar with you, don't realize how fast or big, strong you are, you win. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. Control your effort 100% of the time in school, in relationships, with teammates, in the game, in the weight room, whatever. You control you all the time. All right. So that is what's on the mind of mechanics. I kind of like that. Mind of mechanics. You digging it? All right. Leave comments. Ask me questions. I'm still building people.